Quick question. Have you ever felt awkward trying to talk to someone new? Don't worry, you're not alone. We've all been there. Standing on the edge of conversation, unsure of what to say or even how to start. With more Gen Z and younger generations struggling with social skills, I want to talk about some things that you can do to help break the ice and connect with others, no matter how shy or anxious you might feel. Like any part of life is shaped by the ability to have hard conversations, whether it's friendships, romantic love, familial relationships. If we can't have challenging conversations with each other, the relationship cannot improve. Like they are forged by difficult conversations. And so many of us are so deeply afraid of confrontation, the rejection or the abandonment that might ensue after a confrontation, or just saying it wrong, that nothing ever gets better. So to start, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Starting conversations can be tough. Fear of rejection, anxiety, not knowing what to say. It's like all these things hit you at once. You might be worried that the other person won't be interested in what you have to say, or that you'll stumble over your words, making the situation even more awkward. Trust me, I've been there too. But the key is understanding that these fears are totally normal. And with the right approach, you can learn how to start conversations in a way that feels natural and even fun. Uh, they met Justin? I don't know. Hi, I'm Julie. That's it? You just walk up to someone you don't know and introduce them to your buddy? I don't know, that sounds kind of- Have you met Kyle? Hi, Kyle. Are you Jesus? All right, so let's dive into something practical that you can start using right away. First, just introduce yourself. It's a super simple way to start a conversation, break the ice, and ease any initial awkwardness, making it easier for both parties to find common ground. If you're nervous about going up yourself, get a friend and play Have You Met Ted? Have You Met Ted is from the show How I Met Your Mother, where Bonnie uses this line to introduce Ted to women. How do you play? Have a friend, see an attractive person, Get your friend to go up and say, have you met whatever your name is? You woke up and then just eat yourself into the conversation. It doesn't have to be super complex. It really can be that simple. When you're not sure what to say, ask open-ended questions. Instead of yes or no answers, ask questions that allow the other person to share more. Like, what brought you here today? Or how did you get into this hobby? This takes the pressure off you and gets the conversation flowing naturally. When you ask these questions, have some follow-up questions to ask as well. So if you ask, what are your hobbies? You can follow up with, how do you start doing it? How often do you do it? Do you compete or is it just for fun? But a conversation shouldn't just be you asking questions. Having a conversation is a two-way street and contributing your own thoughts and experiences is just as important as asking questions. While asking questions can open doors and encourage others to share, adding your own perspective enriches the dialogue and fosters a deeper connection. It shows that you're invested in the exchange, creating a more dynamic and balanced interaction. When you're just asking questions and not giving any insights or opinions, it can feel less like a conversation and more like an interrogation. You need to find the balance between the two, and this only comes through practice. The starting point of any hard conversation is knowing that you're, everything gets better when you can have them. So even if you have them badly right now, having them badly is better than not having them at all. So let's recap the strategies we talked about. Introduce yourself, or have a friend introduce you. Start with open-ended questions and keep the conversation flowing. And don't just ask questions, contribute to the conversation and have a back and forth. These skills can completely transform your social interactions, making it easier for you to connect with new people and build meaningful relationships. Making conversations doesn't have to be difficult or complex. It's only as hard as you make it. The most difficult part is typically just getting out of your own head. Remember, starting a conversation isn't about being perfect. It's about connecting with others and understanding. Don't be afraid to start. Every great conversation starts with a single word. But what do you think? Drop a comment down below and share your experiences. What worked for you? What didn't? And what do you find challenging? I'd love to hear your stories and tips. Feel free to subscribe. If you made it this far, you probably liked the video and I mainly just like it on my channel. With that said, I'm Kale, and I hope you all make the most out of every moment that lies ahead.